Life Audio. I'm Jody Nisnik, and you're listening to a bonus episode of So Much More for Holy Week. After a quick word from our sponsors, we'll be back for our meditation. This episode is brought to you by He Gets Us, a nationwide campaign all about raising the respect and relevance of Jesus. Did you see the Super Bowl ads about Jesus? Are you wondering how you can get involved? He Gets Us is a multi-year effort to raise the respect and relevance of Jesus in the United States. Thanks to this unprecedented campaign, millions of Americans are discovering the life-changing impact of Jesus. And we want you to be a part of the movement. Join more than 45,000 He Gets Us fans getting the latest updates, inspiration, prayer ideas, and easy-to-share resources via text message by subscribing to our fans' community. To do so, text FANS to 70193. By being a fan, you can get exclusive updates on new ads, events, and other exciting news related to the He Gets Us movement. We'll also keep you inspired by giving you access to reading plans, prayer guides, and other tools to help on your spiritual journey. Join this community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for spreading the love of Jesus. Simply text FANS to 70193 to join today. There is simply no other experience in the world like traveling to Israel. Seeing the Holy Land in person is a life-changing event you will never forget. Come see for yourself the holiest and most significant sites in biblical and world history. Judea and Samaria, Jerusalem, Nazareth, and Haifa are simply a few of the inspirational, breathtaking places you'll visit. Traveling to the Holy Land will be one of the most amazing trips of your life. Walking the same steps that Jesus did is an overwhelming and powerful experience you will never forget. It's time to go visit the birthplace of the Bible. To find out more about Israel, visit holyland.israel.travel. Israel, exactly like nowhere else. Well, today is our Holy Saturday Scripture Meditation. Before we get started, I want to invite you to go into the show notes and download the free guided Lent journal that I have created for you. In it, it has the scriptures that we are meditating on today, plus some space that you can capture your thoughts and your prayers. So I do hope you'll grab it. As always, you don't need it. But I do think it will be an assistance to you and help you take another step as we move through this meditation. We'll do this meditation a little differently than normal in that I will be reading it over you and inviting you to do some imagination experiences, imagining what it would have been like to have sat in the wondering and the grief and not knowing the rest of the story quite yet. I'll guide you every step of the way. So let's go ahead and get started. To do that, I want to invite you to start taking some deep in and out breaths. As you breathe in, invite the Lord to help you notice him. Noticing his presence, being sensitive to his spirit. As you exhale, offer over to him anything that feels burdensome to you today. Continue taking some deep in and out breaths. And as you do, let me pray for us. Oh Lord, we thank you for today for this space before Easter to contemplate what it must have been like to wonder what our lives might be like if you had not risen from the dead. So Lord, we thank you and we pray that you would help us now to be attentive to your spirit. Lord, lead and guide us. Help us to notice the things that you want us to notice and to have the conversations with you that we need to have. 
we ask that you would do this to help us grow into deeper relationship with you and we pray all of this in Jesus name amen well the first time I read the passage for you I want you to just observe it you can start to imagine it let it come to life in your imagination but mostly it's an opportunity for you to just hear the words and know where it's going to wonder and also we're going to ask the spirit to help us notice things in the passage and then I'll give you some space to reflect on that after the reading a quick note is that when it says the women go and prepare spices and perfumes they are doing that to prepare Jesus's body to be in the tomb so this is an act of love that they are doing for Jesus so this now is our first reading of Luke 23 verses 50 through 56 now there was a man named Joseph a member of the council a good and upright man who had not consented to their decisions and action he came from the Judean town of Arimathea and he himself was waiting for the kingdom of God going to Pilate he asked for Jesus's body then he took it down wrapped it in linen cloth and placed it in a tomb cut in the rock one in which no one had yet been laid it was preparation day and the Sabbath was about to begin the women who had come with Jesus from Galilee followed Joseph and saw the tomb and how his body was laid in it then they went home and prepared spices and perfumes but they rested on the Sabbath in obedience to the commandment so take a few moments now to prayerfully reflect on the details that you noticed asking the Lord if there's something that he wants to apply to your life right now or just perhaps why he may have wanted you to notice these things now as I read the passage for you a second time I want to invite you again to let it take shape in your imagination to imagine that you are able to be an eyewitness to everything that is happening and that you are a follower of Jesus this means that Jesus would have been your rabbi your friend and someone you hoped had come to usher in the kingdom of God so go ahead and just let the passage come to life and then I'll give you some space and some prompts to reflect on it after the reading so this now is our second reading of Luke 23 verses 50 through 56 now there was a man named Joseph a member of the council a good and upright man who had not consented to their decision and action he came from the Judean town of Arimathea and he himself was waiting for the kingdom of God 
Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body. Then he took it down, wrapped it in linen cloth, and placed it in a tomb cut in the rock, one in which no one had yet been laid. It was preparation day, and the Sabbath was about to begin. The women who had come with Jesus from Galilee followed Joseph and saw the tomb and how his body was laid in it. Then they went home and prepared spices and perfumes but they rested on the Sabbath in obedience to the commandment. So take a moment in your imagination, remembering that you don't know the rest of the story. What do you suppose you would be thinking and feeling? Just take a moment to think through that now. Now I want to invite you to take a few more moments to consider these following questions. How would your life be different if Jesus had not risen from the dead? What would be different about your life right now? Take a few moments to consider that and reflect upon it. Finally, I want to give you just a moment to thank God that this is not our reality, to thank him that he did come and die and was resurrected. And then I'll close us in prayer in just a moment. Oh Lord, we thank you for this time. This time to hold space with those that were grieving and confused and wondering and so, so sad about your death. To remember that you had real relationships with people and there were many broken hearts in this day. 
So Lord, thank you for giving us some space to consider those things. Lord, we thank you that Easter is coming. We thank you that the resurrection is just around the corner and we get to celebrate the relief that they must have felt in that moment to have you back as somebody they love but then the awareness of what that really meant and the joy and rejoicing that came with it so thank you Lord that this is our reality as we enter in to tomorrow Lord would you help us though hold space for today we ask this in Jesus name Amen Well, friends, we have one final bonus guided reflection, and that is for Easter, a day to rejoice and celebrate. I hope that you'll be able to make a little space so that you can hear these words, contemplate them, and praise God for what he has done. I also hope that you will be able to rejoice in community and that you will be able to celebrate with other brothers and sisters on this amazing, amazing day. So, friends, I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Once in a generation, a podcast comes along with the power and eloquence to inspire us all. This show will entertain you while you wait for that one. Join two best friends, author and former history teacher John Driver and comedian Johnny W. for hilarious and authentic conversations about life, history, culture, faith, and everything in between. You can listen to Talk About That wherever you find your podcasts or at lifeaudio.com.